Hi, it's Kerry. This video is suitable for viewers age 13 plus. The Elephant. The trunk is innervated by two proboscidean nerves which render it extremely sensitive. The bifurcations or pathways of this nerve reach most portions of the trunk, especially the tip which is equipped with tactile bristles at regular intervals. At the end of the trunk are flap-like projections. African elephants have two and the Asian elephants have one. The Asian elephant. For many centuries they have been important as a ceremonial and draft animal. Mahouts in India and Uzis in Myanmar are skilled people who train elephants. They remain in direct contact with the animals for many years. The handlers take care of all the elephant's needs and the bond between man and beast becomes very strong. Commanded by its mahout, the elephant was once basic to Southeast Asian logging operations. It remains a symbol of power and pageantry but has been largely supplanted by machinery. The most famous historical event using elephants in war was that of Hannibal, the young commander of the Carthaginians. He crossed the Alps from Spain into Italy. He left Spain in 218 BC with 37 elephants. Each had their own well-trained mahout. The African Elephant. Both males and females secrete a fluid called temperin. For the males, when they enter a musk period, they secrete a fluid differing in viscosity. Serum testosterone during musk is higher and the animal's behaviour is erratic and they are sometimes uncontrollable. Musk is the time for establishing reproductive hierarchy which can differ from the usual social hierarchy in that a male in musk outranks non-musk males. In the wild, males are usually at their prime physical state during musk and ordinarily do most of the breeding. The coyote is known for its nightly serenades of yaps and howls. A single coyote is able to capture an adult deer, especially in deep snow. Coyotes take down a deer by repeatedly biting at the back legs and hindquarters. The kill finally being made with a choking bite to the throat. Coyotes are territorial and both members of a breeding pair defend the territory against other coyotes. Their territories are marked with urine and feces and it is believed that howling may serve to indicate occupancy of a territory. The Okapi is endemic to the Democratic Republic of the Congo region in Central Africa. The eyes and ears of both sexes are large and the tongue is long and prehensile. The male has short horns that are completely covered by skin except at the tips. Most females do not possess horns though they often display knobby bumps or hair walls in their place. It is a shy, solitary, elusive animal that lives among dense cover and browses on leaves, fungi and fruit. It uses its long tongue to strip leaves from branches and supplements its diet with clay, burnt wood and bat guano, which is bat droppings. Okapis are preyed upon by leopards. Although usually tranquil, the okapi can kick and butt with its head to show aggression. 
They make a sound that sounds like chuff. Tap the bell icon to be notified when my next video is uploaded. Subscribe and like if you like wild animals. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.